What's up guys, welcome to your 7th JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to change the value of an array and add an element to the end of an array. So as you can see before, anytime we wanted to output the value of an array, we would just put it in an alert box, whatever we wanted to output, and as you can see, just outputted it on the screen for us. But what if later on in our scripting, we were typing some code down here, then we decided that we wanted to have a new value for that element. Well, in case you guys can't figure this out yet, or in case you guys just need to see it to believe it, all you would have to do is simply type in whatever, just like a variable, and just set it equal to something different. So now, if we alert this, let me just copy this, make it easier. JavaScript's going to be reading along here and says, all right, we have an array right here. First, the value is Greg, so that's what I'm going to output. And then it's going to say, all right, you want to change the value to Bobby? All right, now we'll spit out Bobby, even though it's the same variable. Since it reads from top to bottom, it's first going to alert Greg. Then when we change it, it's going to alert Bobby. So let me save this. As you can see, Greg for our first, then our second, and alerts the word Bobby. Now, from here on out, anytime you type code later on down your script, the, val the second element of that array is going to hold the value of Bobby. Now, that's how you change elements in your array, just by simply typing this part again and changing this part right here. But let's say you want to add an element to your end of your array. To do that is even more simple. All you have to do is type in the next element of the array. So we already got 0, 1, 2. Now we just need to type in 3 and type in a new value for it. As you can see, as long as is it has the value of the next element it doesn't need to be directly connected to your array it doesn't need to be all in a cluster so now if we copied this and we alerted this out on the screen it'll first alert Greg and then even though it isn't directly connected to all these other elements we still have the third element with a value of Tina. So let's save this, take a look at what it looks like. First it says Greg, press OK, reads the rest of the script, and even though there's scripts in between there, it still shows that as long as we have a value for number three, it'll output it on the screen. So this is how you can add elements to the end of your array without directly putting it in the array with your other elements. So study this tutorial and make sure that you learn all this because it will be coming in use a lot later on. It's also useful when you decide to do some scripting and then decide to add elements later. Thank you.